Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at NixOS, which is what I run on my framework laptop here uh, as my operating system. Because it is rebuildable easily, I can move all my configuration from the computer uh, very easily by just copying one file, essentially, uh, and then it links out to what the hardware configuration is. We'll probably go into that more in future videos. Today what I'm going to cover is how I get this, Synology, hooked up to NixOS because I searched for it for a while and couldn't figure it out. And mainly the reason I couldn't figure it out is because I didn't really think about or realize that NixOS uh, or that Synology, sorry, is using Samba to share. <laughs> That's it. Uh, on all my other computers, it just sh showed it and I could see, you know, I call this Glacier and I could just see it and use it. So what we're going to do here is you can first see this is the Samba documentation on NixOS. Uh, the first thing you need is a SIFS mount. So let's go to my NixOS. Uh, system. And to do that, we're going to go to cd slash etc nix os. And I usually type here sudo tmux because I'm going to end up using two different tabs. And I would say nvim configuration. Actually, I can just even do nvim dot to open it all up. And you can see I've got uh, configuration.nix hardware configuration. And that uh, hardware configuration is specific to this computer. Configuration.nix is all on its own. I can open that up. So now I have it open and I'd actually go command B and C to open up a new tab. So this is where I would type uh, NixOS rebuild switch. So I'd go back and the first thing I need to do is I'll just search for SIFS. So that's the first thing you need to add is SIFS uh, dash utils. So I've added this, this inside um, system packages with packages. And so you'll find that also if I NixOS and I go search packages and I go SIFS. Utils. And so this gives you a few different ways. Nick shell can actually be used just as a shell uh, tool for anything, um, pretty much anything. You need to read more about that. But since I already have it, packages equals, right, equals packages, and then the square brackets right here, I just need to add SIFS utils. So I do that, all right? So SIFS, so I add that, and then I have the connection protocols ready. And the next thing I need to do is come in to here. So you can see this documentation on the NixOS wiki, right? It's basically this block right here. And what I have to change is this text here, my IP or host. That's really it. And I find that by going to uh, in a browser. So if I went to in a browser to this, um, I can even type it in. 192.168.4158. So I went here, typed HTTP on slash slash 192.168.4.158 colon 5000. So it's going to give me a warning because I don't have a certificate on that, which is fine. I'm going to go to advanced. This is just inside my internal network. Accept risk and continue. And now I can sign into my Synology. So I had bookmarked this originally, uh, and I just copied the uh, location right out of here. And I would use one password here to open it. So, all right, DS 920, which is the model I have. I log in, and I will need these login credentials the first time or when I open up Glacier as well. Not oh, setting it all up. No, no, no. Oh, all these little warnings. Got it. So then I would grab the, again, this. So now it says 5001. I'm not sure why it says 5001 instead of 5000, which is what I have in NixOS. So once I add that in, add my um, IP in there, right? Then that's really it. Then I would come in and type, was it Nix, Nix? OS rebuild switch. So this is if the first time I have to do this, right? If you have, I don't actually need to do this step because these things are already saved for me. It's going to build my system configuration, which sometimes takes a bit, sometimes it's pretty fast. So it saw that I changed nothing. So it doesn't really need to do anything. And I would open up files. <clears throat> I would go to other locations and I should see Glacier right there. Again, this is going to ask me for my password as well. 
to log into it. So if I go to one password, open it up. I go to DS920. I can copy my password, paste it in, and again, I should could choose to remember forever, remember until I log out. I just go with log out. Uh, although I don't have a good reason for that ultimately because I leave my Mac logged in all the time. But I would hit connect, and now I can see everything on there. All right now, I can actually I'll use that to drop the video file I'm recording on my. Uh, book here on my uh, framework here over uh, to Mac OS so I can do the video editing because this does not run uh, DaVinci Resolve unfortunately for nerd reasons and that's it uh, that's how you add it so the biggest thing is realizing that uh, the standard sharing for your Synology is Samba and so you need to follow the Samba directions if you like the video thumbs up below there'll be some more Nix OS content coming up uh, if you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell, all that YouTube nonsense. Ultimately, this is supported by members. So if you go to curtismichael.ca slash membership, you can become a member and get some of my extra notes on research, reading, just extra stuff that is interesting to me. Have an awesome day.